Hi, my name is Gabby and welcome to my channel, Gabby on Paper. Today's video is going to be a weekly budget check-in in which I go over my all my expenses for the week that just ended. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so I have gone through and written out all the expenses um, that I've had so far for this um, this week. So we're just gonna go ahead and fill out my weekly check-in um, sheet. And I'll zoom in a bit. First, um, let's go in and write out the budget for each of the categories. Okay, perfect. So let's start with groceries. Um, I budgeted $250 for the month. Um, I actually only have two transactions for groceries this week. So we're at $37.18 for one and $7.16 for the other, which means we have spent $44.33. And then the remaining would be I have 205.66 left in my grocery category for the entire month. Um, now for my first paycheck, which is, which is essentially the first two weeks of the month until the 15th, um, I budgeted $100 for my grocery spending, and I am um, within, that, within that budget and on track to not go over, so that's very exciting. Next is dining out. There were a quite a few dining out outings, I guess, <laughs> or expenses, um, just because we did have my boyfriend's dad visiting us for a couple of days, so. 78.55 is what I've spent the first week, which I think it's a lot for one week. That, that, that is a lot, yes. <laughs> But like I said, we had a visitor and, and so that caused us to obviously eat out a little bit more. Uh, one of the days, um, his dad actually treated us to breakfast and then dinner that day, so it could have been worse. The other thing is, so today's Monday and yesterday on Sunday, which is the last day of this tracking period, yesterday was the 7th, uh, we went over to my boyfriend's friend's house to have dinner with him and his wife and we brought dessert and that ended up being 1725 alone. So we've had a few events that kind of made this week a little bit spendy. Um, so 7855, if I subtract the 280 I budgeted for the month means I have 20145 left in my dining out category. Um, and let's see, I budgeted 160 for the first two weeks, so I'm kind of like spot on, which is good, better than you know, tracking to be over. Shopping, there was no shopping done, so I so I still had the full 205 left. Entertainment, I only had one uh, transaction for $8.54. Um, so I, if I do 135 minus 854, means I have 126.46 left. Um, that that was just for we went to go see the movie Nope, and that was our snacks, my half of the snacks. I think the entertainment category we'll see we'll see more charges later in the month. So hobbies. I didn't budget anything. I'm trying not to spend anything in hobbies and home because of a spend year month um, in shopping and entertainment. And this week I haven't purchased anything, so um, we're, that's good. One week down. <laughs> okay, home is the same scenario. I didn't spend anything, didn't budget anything, so we're good there miscellaneous i actually did have a couple purchases here and they were both um ubers so i spent 17.91 
One, I was out by myself and it was just really hot. I was in an area that wasn't like convenient to get to bus or or the train. And so I was like, whatever, I'm just gonna do it. It was only $10 including tips, so 10.92. Um, so it wasn't like a huge expense. That's why I have a little bit of a buffer with my miscellaneous category. Um, but ideally I do try to not take Ubers. So that means I have 7.09. Um, and then the other portion was a $7 Uber, and that was my half of it. And um, last night when we went out to dinner, it was kind of a little bit later. I mean, not, it was dark, but it wasn't like super late or anything. And I don't know what it was. I was just like paranoid. I felt unsafe, even though we weren't in a like, in like a, you know, not so nice area. It was, I don't know. I was just, I felt weird. And so... We took an Uber home for safety reasons, for my peace of mind, and I think it's worth it. <laughs> and then travel, I didn't budget anything for travel, but we are going to um, Charlotte in September for, for a golf thing. And uh, we finally booked our flights, but I did spend $312.46, which means I am $312.46 over budget in the travel category. So now I'm just gonna take a quick second to go through and um, highlight all of my categories like I do. Okay, so, um, so this week was pretty good. It was a little spendy in the in the dining out category, but I think all the other categories were pretty good. Let's see here. I mean, travel obviously was unplanned, um, but that is something that it, I'm using my short-term savings for, and that's what it's, it, I mean, I guess that's like a sinking fund, so the money's available for me to use, and that's what I'm using to cover this plane ticket. Um, and so that's why it's not in my budget, and I didn't budget for it or anything. That's how I'm treating my savings account, so, so I'm okay with um, this big expense, even though I didn't plan for it. But that's it for today's video. It was just a quick budget check-in with it only being one week. There really wasn't that much to to share today or to add up. Um, I'm curious to see how this week will go uh, just because I have made some changes personally that I will actually be discussing. I will leave on my next video. So this video is going up on Tuesday. Um, on my Friday video, I should be explaining a few things that I have some changes or rather one really big change I made. <laughs> Anyways, thank you so much for joining me in today's video. If you haven't done so already, give this video a thumbs up and make sure you subscribe. Bye.